that sound is probably similar to the sound we get when we're walking across the reed beds with the plastic under our feet. You hear the crunching because there's so much plastic underneath our feet. That all of these hard hats and all the rest of the plastic, the life boys and everything else have all come out of the river in local cleanups. As with everybody who actually sees the plastic that's coming down the river, they are all flabbergasted. It's just mind boggling to see how much rubbish comes down. And when, when you look here, you know, we've got hard hats, bottle top, cotton buds, lollipop sticks. Well, this has come from only a few events. We're, we're talking about thousands of sackfuls of rubbish. The theme is called Spring Clean and uh, working with the Thames 21 volunteers, uh, they have been collecting plastic from the river since October. Um, the man who's leading it, Steve Catchpole, told me about he regularly organises these uh, clean up river, um, he calls them litter picks, and that he collects all this plastic from the Thames. I've been doing it for four years. There was a Thames 21 event, an annual event that happened in Greys about four years ago and after the event I turned around to local residents shall we come and do this again next month and they agreed and every month until the start of the pandemic in March we had held a monthly pick. So he had just offered me the answer about what the mandala should be in graves because I was like well if you pick up all this plastic what do you do with it and perhaps we could do something to raise awareness of how much plastic comes out of the river by creating a piece of art. There was a whole, almost a year, of actually sorting him, collecting it, and then thinking about it. He's been storing it in his shed in his back garden. He's sorted it out into these beautiful piles of coloured plastic. So the mandala I'm making at the moment is made out of the plastics that have come out of the Thames, been found by the litter picking team. They've all been cleaned by Steve, so we know that these are safe to be using for this. And we are using two colours of plastics on each one, so it looks really good on the mandala, but also it's really good to highlight the variety of plastics that are found in the Thames. So on here, for example, I've got pens, I've got a lighter, bottle lids, and even the middle bits of Kinder Eggs. Pick up the trash and then they gave um, to us to make our mandalas and I found them in the trays. Well, I used plastic. That was the main thing, but there was also like glass and, well, there was quite a lot. And, and for the other young carers, I saw that there was actually boots and leather. We're encouraging people to realise the amount of plastic that ends up in the water. Made it a really exciting project to work on. We're trying to raise a really important awareness of a really important theme of plastic pollution and the issues arising from the Thames and the wonderful work that Steve and Thames 21 are doing to try and clean up the Thames along that area. But it's um, a massive task just for them and it was really important to Steve that we were not only highlighting the issue but he said he really wanted to kind of shock people with the things that he was finding and collecting because he just thought people aren't aware and, and to hopefully kind of make them engage with, with that and it not just be an issue in the back of their mind. Not all of this is people fly tipping. This is just us using plastic when we don't really need to. And ultimately some of it will get into the river and be part of the problem. We all have a responsibility to try and reduce the amount of plastic we're using. I hate litter. So to come down to the beach today, be involved in putting together a mandala with all the, the rubbish that Steve has collected, it's been great. It felt, um really powerful, really poignant in that it was, I felt like a physical representation of seeing the community come together because you were able to physically see different people working in mini bubbles and then all pulling it together and then right at the very end realising the kind of uh, how important everybody's little part is to making a, a whole and making something great together. I now run events all the way along the river, I, from Raynham in Essex through to Stamford Lee Hope. I normally have 20 to 30 people going out in an event, one and a half hours on a Sunday morning, every month, religiously, so that 
we're keeping on top of the problem. Hopefully we'll actually get government involvement to actually try and tackle the problem. With, we're finding smarty lids which we know are 30 to 5 to 45 years old. The rubbish is not going anywhere. We, we make a small little indent into the problem. We're not, we're not solving the problem. Anybody who thinks that little pickers will solve the problem are kidding themselves. We're just, we're just focusing attention on it.